Other day traders. Last week, the U.S. stock indices edged down after three weeks of constant growth. U.S. dollar fell too. Negative trend started on Monday on the absence of significant economic data. On Tuesday, the positive data came out, which had little impact on the markets. The GDP for the third quarter of 2016 advanced 3.2 percent in the second reading, far above the forecast compared to 2.9 percent in the first reading. The Atlantic Fed ex- expects positive trends in the U.S. economy to continue and GDP to rise 3.6 percent in the fourth quarter 2016. On Tuesday, consumer confidence index for November came out, hitting a record high for 107.1 percent since the pre-crisis level in July 2017. Despite such positive movement, the U.S. stock market advance was minor, while the U.S. dollar edged lower. On Wednesday, the ADP independent agency released the U.S. labor market data, which pushed the U.S. dollar index up. The U.S. dollar strengthened 9 percent against Japanese yen to hit a record high since August 1995. The U.S. dollar index fell on Thursday, together with stocks. Market shrug of the positive ISM and market, mar- market manufacturing PMIs. The negative trend continued on Friday. No farm payrolls increased in the U.S., but the October and September readings were revised down. Besides, the U.S. labor force participation fell to 62.7 percent, which was another negative. Moreover, higher political risks in Europe on the constitutional referendum in Italy also weighed on the U.S. markets. Referendum was held on Sunday, December 4. Majority of Italians voted no, which pushed stocks prices up on Monday. The U.S. dollar index edged down while euro strengthened. Few significant economic data will come out this week. Trading balance, factory orders for October, as well as durable goods orders in the second reading, will come out on Tuesday. The Michigan University Consumer Sentiment Index and wholesale inventories will come out on Friday. In the eurozone, the next ECB meeting will be held on Thursday. This was all for the past week. Happy trading, and see you next week.